When I finally learned how to growl on the saxophone, I was like... Jay Metcalf here from bettersax.com. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to growl on the sax, but I want you to promise that you won't overdo it. I remember when I was about 14 or 15 years old asking my teacher how to growl on the saxophone. It's something that I really wanted to know how to do. And he told me, well, you just hum or sing a note and play and you'll get a growl. So I tried that and... Mm -hmm. Nothing. I would start humming and then go to play, but every time the note just came out like a normal note. What was happening was I would naturally stop humming when I went to play a note because my muscle memory for playing the saxophone was already pretty well developed. So you're first gonna wanna practice combining a sung note with your normal saxophone playing airstream. You see, if I sing a note, there's not really a lot of air coming out of me. Uh, no air, right? The trick is gonna be learning how to combine blowing more air with singing at the same time, like this. Just pretend you're playing the saxophone while you hum or sing. You see, I'm blowing a lot more air there. Once you can do that, put the mouthpiece in your mouth and repeat. Now you may feel like your embouchure is a bit weird when you do this at first. That's normal, you gotta practice for a while. The intonation goes off, lots of crazy stuff happens. Now one thing you could do is alter the pitch of the note you're humming in relation to the note you're playing. You'll find that different intervals give you different results in the growl. I don't really think about the note that I'm humming while I'm growling. It just kind of comes naturally, but it's definitely something you might want to experiment with. As with any extended technique on the saxophone, it's going to take some practice before you get any good at it. Don't get too discouraged if your first attempts don't get very good results. <laughs> Be ready to experiment with what's going on in your throat until you find what works best for you. The thing you want to be careful with is avoiding overusing this technique or using it in places where it's not really stylistically appropriate. so hard to get a beautiful sound on the saxophone it would be a pity to have our natural distortion pedal always on one more thing i want to mention after growling a lot i noticed that it irritates my throat a bit i used to be in a band where i would do a lot of singing and after playing a solo where i growled a lot i would find it really tough to sing. It was like I had temporarily lost my voice. Let me know in the comments below if you happen to have any alternative techniques for getting the growl effect on the saxophone. And if you want to study some more with me, be sure to check out all the courses I've got available over at bettersax.com. If you got any value out of this video, be sure to drop me a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel because I wouldn't want you to miss out on any more of these great tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.